this video, we're building these three sets from Team Builders 1, 2, and Team Diamonds 2. I want to see how cheap I can build this. I can't use any cards from my binder, and I can't open any packs along the way. This will be all auction house and set based. Those are the only methods I can use. And at the end, I'll be revealing which is the most profitable and which you should spend your time on to make the most coins. Ready, set, Go. We're going to start with our team builder one. This is the 84 overall team builder option. I'm just going to go to the bears and create Robert Quinn since he got a card recently for team of the year. We need three 80 to 82s and three 75 to 79 golds. We're just going to snipe these cards super cheap off the block. Normally you can get 80 overalls for 2000 or less. So that's my target. Just going quarterback, halfback, wide receiver. Here we go. 1800. I think that's a reasonable price. We'll pick him up for 1800 coins. That's our first of three. We need two more. I picked up a Miles Jack, Braxton Bear. And because I'm a dumbass, I actually bought an extra one, Kevin Byard, but we'll use him in another set down the road. This took way too long, and I realized I can't be so picky. But we've got our three. Now we need three 75 to 79 overall golds. Five to 550, I think, is a really good deal. That's essentially the price of a gap pack. So we'll take it for 550 or under. That's our first one in Philip Lindsay. 547. It's a weird price, but hey, man, we'll take that one too. We just need one more. And right away, there's Mark Ingram. Okay, so just like that, it took us over 20 minutes to get our first three elites because I was so picky on it. And then our golds, I opened it up a little bit and we got these a lot faster in pretty much three refreshes. So now we can build this card. We spent 7,297 coins. Robert Quinn is going for 14,000 coins. So as of right now, we are at 6,700 coins coins profit but i spent way too long sniping our elite cards there we do have one left over now on to team builders 2 the 88 overall we need 185 to 86 383 to 84s and 480 to 82s now remember we already have an 80 to 82 that we bought when we were buying our 84 team builder cards but the rest we still need now i got my training price for the card but i want to see if i can build it cheaper through sets guys i'll be honest i'm looking through these sets and i see nothing of value that could bring us an 85 to 86 overall card for cheaper like this is 3,000 6,000 you know 8,000 coins to build we could just snipe an 85 for cheaper this is what I'm saying when someone asks me what's the best coin making method in Madden I always say sniping and flipping cards because you can get them so cheap and do whatever you want with them you have complete control campus heroes there's a ton of them listed for 4,000 coins guys these cards are so cheap there's just no point in building 85 to 86 overall so you could probably get it for a little cheaper but time is of the essence so, kind of I repeated the same process for the 83 to 84 overalls and bought these three cards for a total 8,900 coins. And when I started looking for my 80 to 81 overalls, I started off with a nice surprise. Wow, 1,300 for this one? Oh my God, we will definitely scoop him up. So that's two of the four 80 to 81s that we need. Here we go, 2,000 coins. After this, we'll only need one more. Oh, 1,100 coins? This Barrios card keeps going for super cheap. All right, we spent a grand total of 15,250 coins. Now see, this time I was a little smarter. I looked up on much GG, what card is going for the most? And it's actually a Jets player. He goes by the name of Tyler Croft. We're going to select him. And if we go to look at the auction house for Tyler Croft, it appears that in the last seven minutes of me building this card, eight minutes, because there's 52 minutes remaining here, several people have built him. You can sell him for 30,000 coins. I'm confident in that over time. He will sell at 30K. So spoiler alert, he did end up selling at 30K. That's a 100% profit on this build. That only took me about eight minutes to complete. So as of right now, the front runner for best coin making method is Team Builder 2. But let's see how Team Diamond 2 does. I've selected Jackie Slater based on Mutt GG, who's selling for the most of the Team Diamond 2s. We're going to need a 91 overall, 489 overalls, 586 overalls, 480 overalls, and 675 to 79. Caveat here is they all have to be Rams players. The first step is to see if we can make this 91 overall player for cheaper by completing a set. So again, because this is a Rams player, I really can't find any set that makes it worth it just the end cat really screwed things up this year i would say though if you're looking to do this look into legends that would go into that if you go all the way to the bottom to the beginning of the year this bunch of 91 overall legends if they fit on the team of the team diamond player that you're building definitely take a look at this but it's going to continue to be sniping as the best cheapest method for us so let's hit the auction house and see how cheap we can snipe these cards starting things off hot we found this jordan fuller for actually 10,000 cheaper than training price but problems started to arise when we went and looked at the 89 overall so actually not good for us the only way to get an 89 overall rams player is 
Taylor Rapp. He's the only 89 overall that exists for Rams players. There's no good options for 90 overalls either. Only have Whitworth, and he's 57,000 coins for the cheapest. For so the cheapest, we can buy Rapp for is 35k, but we can actually build him for a little bit cheaper, and that's by completing a zero chill set. Now, what goes into that set is two 87s, which aren't cheap. They're about 14,500. So instead of sitting on this for forever, since I have to build four of these, I'm going to buy these up right now. We need two 87s, and we need one 83, which the 83 are going for about 2,800 coins. So to build one of these is about 32,000 coins. I continued on to complete another three of these cards totaling four, and this was not cheap. Probably the most expensive part of building this team diamond. We spent over 120,000 coins building all of these Taylor wraps. And then it's on to the four 86 to 88s. Technically, we could go and build, what, four team builders or whatever. We know we can build these 88 team builders for about 15K, or we can just buy the 86 which are going for about 14, 15,000. So I'm gonna buy these first two for 14 and 15,000. And then I'm gonna sit on the filter for a little bit to see if I can get them a little bit cheaper. And when you're sniping guys, all you need to do is go to a filter that's not used. So you see I'm highlighted over cap value on the left side of the screen. And then just click A and A again, and it refreshes what's on your screen. So that will enable you to refresh the cards and get the newest cards without having to like select a different filter or reselect something or something like that. Okay, I've been refreshing here for a minute. No new cards have popped up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spend the 15.3 on this instead of spending the probably absurd amount of time that it would take to get a card for like a thousand coins cheaper. We've got all four of our 86 to 88s. Now we just need five 80 to 85s. And you know, I'm immediately going to the 80 overalls, staying on the Rams. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna guess these are gonna be pretty cheap cards. Same process here. All these 80 overalls popped up super quick and for really cheap. Last but not least, we need six 75 to 79 overall high gold cards. They have to be Rams as well. I think we should be able to get these for 500 to 700 coins. And just like that, we're seeing them for 800 coins. I want to be a little patient. I think these are going to pop up fairly often. So I'm going to refresh on the filter for a little bit here. So I think a thousand coins maybe is a good adjustment to make our mark for. So we need to get six of these. As long as they're under a thousand coins, I think we're good to go ahead and buy them. But I'd like y'all to take this challenge, take on three teams, buy the cards, see what you put into it, see how cheap you can build them. And then let me know down in the comments below. After spending the time totaling up the coins we spent in the matter of about 20 minutes to get all these, it costs us a grand total of 240,748 coins. I think if you're patient, and kind of build these over time, you could build on average these cards for around 200 to 220K. We added all our cards to the set. All that's left is to open up this pack and see how much he's selling for. We're rewarded with the Team Diamonds, Jackie Slater. Let's go ahead and see the animation for this. There's our power up, which is also pretty key to this. We get the really cool Team Diamonds animation and our very own Jackie Slater. Jackie's power up is currently selling for about 7,900 coins plus his full card, which is also selling for about 280,000 coins. Is it worth your time to build a Team Diamond? Maybe not. But if you're working towards that Luke Keekly, this set at least is a profitable slash break even set. And the cheapest we were able to build this for was 240,000. So after making all three of these sets, I think the best, most efficient use of your time to make coins, at least as far as building these sets go, is Team Diamonds 2. We'll be able to sell that for about 100% profit. We built in for 15,000. We're going to sell them for 30,000. There are tons of solo challenges that you can use where you get free Mac cards that go into building that set. I showcased a ton of them on my journey to make 3 million coins in one video. Click the link on the screen you see right now. You don't want to miss that video if you did because it is absolutely epic. Seriously, 3 million coins, one video.